are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodranth for Black and White Sports. And as I was going through looking for something to do a video on, I came across the following. The majority of 2020 NFL PAC donations went to Republicans. I saw this and I couldn't help but laugh. This is from frontofficesports.com. Despite the NFL's recent outward pledges to support the progressive causes like Black Lives Matter, research by The Athletic found that the league's political action committee money is overwhelmingly going to Republicans. <laughs> PACs are organizations that pull money privately to influence elections or legislations, capped at 5000 per individual contributor. The NFL has its own PAC, Gridiron, that is overseen by the league's office in D.C. Owners also make political contributions separate from the PAC, i.e. Jerry Jones and Robert Kraft are big Donald Trump supporters. The Athletic found that this year, Gridiron has made 63 donations to 52 congresspeople, senators, and political organizations. Of those contributions, 52 went to Republicans or Republican organizations. Of 18 donations made since August, Gridiron has just one Democratic contribution, which is a thousand bucks to Kathy Castor, Democrat in Florida. According to the Federal Election Commi Commission filing since January, Gridiron's Contributions to the GOP totaled $128,500, and contributions to the Democrats was at $58,000. The league's PAC created in 2008 has raised $855,777 through donations from 228 contributors since January 2019. In addition to the league's PAC, the NFL Players Association, NFLPA, one team PAC, the only PAC among the sports unions. While the NFLPA sent the majority of its contributions to Democrats, over a third, 11 out of 31, still went to Republicans. The NFLPA 2020 donations totaled 82,000 and 32,500 went to Republicans. The NFLPA has raised $366,675 since January 1st, 2019 through 651 donations. The Athletic found that most players contribute less than $1,000. So, that's very interesting in light of all the virtue signaling that Roger Goodell and his merry band of players have done this season particularly the first week of the season, when they all went super woke, supporting Black Lives Matter and social justice movements, yada, 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 all while in the background, team ownership was sending money to the Republicans. I find this wildly funny, actually. In light of everything that's gone on, we get down to a bunch of hypocritical bullshit. Okay, in other words, the league owners are not supporting the players on their own progressive, democratic, shit show fundraising that they've got going on as we know everything that goes into the Black Lives Matter movement goes straight to Nancy Pelosi, Joe Biden, and the rest of the Democrat nutbags. This is insanely crazy. This is insanely funny. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of wild packs out there. George Soros has got a pack in which he funneled at one point seventy eight thousand dollars to the uh, Democratic DA in St. Louis that is prosecuting the McCluskeys for having defended their home. 
Yeah, that lady's whole entire election campaign was paid for, essentially, by one George Soros. So PACs can be a big deal. They can be a big deal. And again, this also doesn't tell you what individual owners gave in dollars to individual people for their campaign. I would love to find out how much Jerry Jones and Robert Kraft has given to Donald Trump. And then I would love to laugh at all the woke players. If I can find those figures, I'm making a video. You can guarantee that. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. This is funny as hell. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.